After a long winter of being trapped in my garage, my apartment is now full of dirt. It's disgusting. Walking in here is just the worst. I'm barefoot. Like, that's not, that's not pleasant. Nobody likes this. I'm still currently moving stuff out of my garage. Kind of looks like I'm moving out. And uh, I mean, in some ways I am because I am moving everything outside just to move back in though. You ever think about living outside? Before I start cleaning in here, I gotta get rid of all this junk, my stuff, and I just decided that I'm gonna do this today. I'm gonna get rid of this. This is pressure treated wood. You can tell the difference. This is spruce. I've been living here for a year now in this garage and uh, you, can't, you can't be living with pressure treated wood indoors. It's poisonous. I've been breathing this in for a year now. I mean, I gotta get rid of it. And today's my only chance. Everything's out of the way. You know what I mean? Ugh, too much stuff. I've had these for like years. I don't even drink. I was looking for this all night last night. Oh man, look at all this. More dust bunnies. And these are just the babies. You should see the parents. I don't even know what type of dust bunny this is. These are the shoes I wear. These are the shoes I never wear. <laughs> Alright, all the couch is gone and all that stuff. Found myself a lighter, a pen, and this old dollar from like, back in the, like look at this, it's old. It's made out of copper. Is there a date on it? 1967? I don't know, but it gives you an idea of how long this couch has been here. No, my apartment's empty, just like my mind. Now I'm in the floor uh, washing stage and there's lots of floor to wash. Let that dry out, check this out. So I'm also taking the opportunity to wash my fridge. But it's full of ice, I just have a bar fridge, eh? that's all I need. But it's full of ice. <laughs> that's a bottle of sourpuss, it's been there for too long. Floor is looking pretty nice, almost shiny. I'm pretty happy with that. This part of the room is all messy. I mean, this is supposed to be my desk and it's got like alpha alpha and cheese and all this stuff falling. It's just packed with garbage. <coughs> time, to time to bring things back inside. So by moving things around here, I was able to save some space, and because I don't have a lot of space, any space saved is, is good. Um, I decided I'm not going to remove this. I mean, whatever, I'll just be poisoned. Um, I got some of the furniture in place, and I'm pretty happy with how things look so far. I still gotta do the carpet. It's still very filthy. I wish I would have bought more of these. I only have the one, whatever.
You ever get the feeling like you just have too much stuff? Oh yeah. Isn't it beautiful? My house is coming together beautifully. And I'm really, I'm really happy with, uh, with the amount of progress I've done today. Even though I'm not entirely done, there's still a bunch of junk to place over here. I mean, it's a start. And it kind of reminds me of a rule from the book, 12 Rules for Life by Jordan Peterson. Rule six, before you go out and criticize the world, you should set your, house in, you should set your own house in order, something along those lines. But apparently, after I set my house in order, I can criticize the world. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool.